Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a little bit of colouring with you with the It's All About You Florals and Beards that was released in January on Create and Craft by Stamps by Me. I will also be using the Gossip Alcohol Markers which were released a couple of months ago. I won't be using the purples, but this is close to hand. I'll be using pinks, and I'm going to be using R135, which is in the Nature set, which is a 12 box. And I will be using RP196, which is pale pink light, and that is in the Scenic box, which is another 12 pack. So what I've done already, I've stamped out my images onto some near cardstock. You can also use Super Smooth and I've stamped with Memento ink pad which is this one here. I have used black for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see the actual colouring better. So I recommend when you get the pens is to do a colour swatch. There are colour swatch charts on the Stamps By Me website available for you to download for free. And then just they're just little boxes that you just colour in and you can put the numbers on. So that's really, really handy to have as well. So these are two colours that I'm using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my light first. This is how I like to colour. You might like to put the darks down first. It's completely up to you. But I'm just going to show you my way of doing it. So I like to put my lights in first where I think the light will be. So the light will be where there's no extra markings on the petals. So as you can see, like this one here, has the extra markings so that'll be a dark area down the bottom of the petals here and here maybe a little bit on the tops so will be a little bit darker so I'm just going to go in where I think the light will be and I do a few petals at a time I don't do too much in advance and then I'm just going to flick a bit of my darker colour into those places where I've left And even though these two boxes aren't in, these two pens aren't in the same box or not the same colour number ways, they blend together lovely. Also, what you'll notice with these pens is the plastic doesn't actually represent the ink inside the pen, and that's because you cannot get plastic to match for some reason. And the suppliers will, all, all the pens, the suppliers will tell you that. For some reason they cannot get the plastic to match. Also with these pens, they have a really good quality nib. So they have a photopolymer nib on both sides. And that is one of the best nibs that you can buy on the market. So there's been no scrimping with these pens they Tony's really put him all into them for you which is really really nice so I'm just colouring and then just bringing where it'd be a little bit more shaded and I'm just flicking a little bit of colour if you're not very good at flicking use the bullet end and just practice so every time you stamp out an image stamp it out twice and just practice with your your brush nib I found that helps so I'm going to make a card with a pink collection so this is why I've gone for some of the lovely pinks on this flower So I'm just going to continue colouring it in. So I've got a couple of flowers to colour, 
but I'm only going to colour one where you actually see me colour the whole thing. The rest will be speeded up a little bit. And then I'll just make a card. So you can see I'm putting the dark where those, those extra lines are. And if you go over your, your ink lines, don't panic, because you're going to die cut it. And when you layer them on top of each other, you're not going to notice. So it's, it's just a matter of just sitting there and practice. Watch Tony's videos, and you can do that on the YouTube on her channel, Stamps by Me. She has quite a few colouring ones already. And I'm sure as time goes on, there's going to be a load more. And I know a few ladies on the design team as well will be doing colouring videos. Like Sharon's a really good colourist. And she's going to be doing some videos very soon as well. So... If you haven't seen Sharon's colouring, have a look at um, her colouring in the group. So it's the Eureka's fan group, which is on Facebook. And if you have a look at her colouring, it's it's amazing. Another amazing colourist, I'm not sure she's going to be doing videos yet, is Vicky. So she's amazing as well. So have a look at the images as well in the Facebook group. So I've nearly finished now with this one. I just hope it helps somebody a little bit. Like I said, I'm not a colourist. I'm still learning a little bit. But it's, it's all good fun. I've got to try these things. Um, if I don't like it when I've finished, it's only a bit of paper, and I'll I'll do it again. Bit of paper, bit of ink. That's all it is. So I'm just so we're nearly done. A couple more petals left here. Nearly finished. And whilst I'm colouring, I'll colour a bird in as well with you. And then I will fast forward through. So there's my flower and I hope you can see where it's shaded, where it's blended into lighter colour. <clears throat> Like I said, just practice. That's all that's all all of us do when we first start colouring. Just keep going. So I've got the beard as well on the branch, which is really, really lovely. Love this beard. So which one have I got in my hands? I've got the dark one. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring the top of the beard in under her eye. I'm gonna use a little bit of the dark and round the side here. Might be a bit darker and round the tail. And perhaps just at the bottom of her belly. I don't know if it's a hair, but I'm calling it a hair. And then with the light one then. So if you find two colours you like, write them down. Get yourself a little... A5, A6 notebook and just write your colour combinations down. What I do is for I write it on the inside of the book of papers. So for this collection I've wrote the numbers down that I like on the actual inside of the, the first page. So I know they're always there then. So I'm just going to put a little bit more darkness down this side. Like so. Here we go and as you can see there that she's blended lovely together. So I'm just going to pop my small one. Make sure you put your lids of your pens on the right pen. Because sometimes I've, I have done that. Put the lids on, on the wrong pen. 
and I'm going to use a bit of a yellow green just to colour in these and I'm going to leave that dry and then I'm going to go over it to create some shadows with the same colour so you don't have to use two pens you can use one and I'll show you in a minute just wait for that alcohol to dry so you can create a little bit of depth so then I, what I'll do is where the lines are I'll just go back in with the same pen can you see that? so I'm just putting in a little bit more colour where the dark is there you go so you don't have to use two pens you can use one pen if you want to you could do the same on your flowers it's completely up to you there we go so that was GY48 and that's from the floral box so that's a 12 pack and then I just need a brown which I've got here and I think we'll go for a chocolate brown I think no this might be a little bit dark for the branch let's try um, chestnut brown that won't be quite as dark so chestnut brown BR98 and it's from the brown pack of six that's better and I'm going to use the bullet end for this because it's quite narrow I'm just going to bring that colour down down the branch and up that branch there like so I've just a couple of the smaller leaves so I'm going to use the bullet end again just on those tiny leaves but there there we go and that's here coloured so go make a cuppa and we'll make a card I'll be back now okay so I just went off camera just to die cut my images ready and just get a few bits and bobs together so what I've got is I've just cut, just cut um, a panel of the first page of the 12 by 12 pack so I'm just going to pop that to my card so this is just 7 by 5 so I'm just going to get some glue so it's a really really simple card just because this was more about just a little bit of colouring for you and it's going to go that way and I'm just going to put some 3D foam behind this white panel. Here, just like so. Remembering to put a bit in the middle because you don't want it to sink. you don't have to use 3d foam pads so you can just use glue have it nice and flat if you're going to post it but I like to make boxes for my cards so I don't mind having a bit of dimension okay so I'm just going to place that in the center there like so make sure I've got my card the right way I'm just going to put my beard but there again, I'm going to use a bit of 3D foam. Just cut a small bit for the leaves. That might be too big for the other side, so just trim that in half. And then a bit down there. So 
So I'll just remind you of the colours that I used, so you can write them down inside your book if you if you bought the book. If not, you can just write them somewhere just to keep um, a record. So I used RP196 and R135. So I'm just giving this flower a bit of dimension. You know I like dimension on my cards. Two bits of foam. And I'm going to put the foam on top of each other. Like so. I'm going to place that there. What do I do with my other flower? In the machine. Oh, I just left the other flower in the machine a minute. There we go. I'm going to put that one up there. So I need another two bits of foam tape. I'm just going to do what Tony does. I don't normally do this, but because it's hanging over the bottom of the card, I'm just going to trim off the edges. But normally, just because that's on the bottom of the card, really, normally I wouldn't do that. So there we go. Just a really quick 7x5 card. So, again, just in case, it's RP196 and R135 I used and that's the Gossip Alcohol Markers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you'll be seeing loads more videos soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.